I am frustrated beyond belief. We're talking to ourselves and you're pretending to be here. I really don't understand what's going on. Previous witness said that you guys, as an agency, act like you're deaf, dumb, and blind. And I figured you were, gonna, you were coming here, you were going to testify before Congress, and don't dare tell anybody you testified before Congress. You're going to be subjected to, to, to violation of false advertising lawsuits. All right? You've told us nothing. And I believe that's your intention. I figured you'd leave your blindfolds and your duct tape and your earplugs behind, but you seem to be wearing them today. And instead of telling us anything, you read from the preamble of your mission statement and broke it up into five segments. What the heck went on? Your mission, you said, was to, was to uh, protect investors and detect fraud quickly. How'd that work out? What went wrong? It seems to me a private, with all of your investigators and all of your agency and everything that, that you all describe, one guy with a few friends and helpers discovered this thing nearly a decade ago, led you to this pile of dung that is, that is Bernie Madoff and stuck your nose in it, and you couldn't figure it out. You couldn't find your backside with two hands if the lights were on. Could you explain yourselves? You have single-handedly diffused the American public of, of any sense of confidence in our financial markets if you are the watchdogs. You have totally and thoroughly failed in your mission. Don't you get it? And now other people are investigating what you should have found out, and you're hiding behind, well, maybe we can't talk because someone else is looking at it. Well, you forfeited your right to investigate by not doing it, certainly not doing it properly or adequately. And now you're trying to tell us that because other people are looking at it, you're not going to tell us what's going on? Like hell you won't. What happened here? That's a question. Do we start with hear no evil, see no evil, or do no evil? Take your pick. I only have five minutes. Someone I'll better let, start. Let me start with enforcement. As I said... We did an investigation in, we began an investigation in 2006, and it was closed without action. Why it's, was it closed without action? What did you investigate? What methodology did you use? And if you, if in the interest Were you of... Were you suspicious when a guy had a one-man accounting firm investigating a, a $50 billion empire? And you keep saying alleged, alleged. This guy confessed on national television, you might have noticed. And as I said, our objective is to actually hold him accountable in a court of law, bearing our you burden of You missed your proof. chance. We have, we have a pending action pending in the Southern District of New York. You took action after the guy confessed. He turned himself in. Don't give yourself any pat on the back for that. And, Congressman, every time... Why we, didn't you find him is the question. I understand your question. And... We cannot answer as to the specifics. I can talk generally. You know, if anybody made the case better than Mr. Marco Polos, and I didn't think anybody could, about you people being completely inept, you've made the case better than him. Well, sir, I, I, I am sorry you feel that way profoundly. Uh, we I think I'm reflecting what the American public feels. How are they supposed to have confidence that if somebody goes to you with a complaint, gives it to you on a silver platter, with all of the investigation, with all of the numbers, with all of the data, telling you exactly what he did, how he did it, and why he did it, and how he knows that. And after a period of a half a dozen or, or eight years, you don't know anything. I can only talk about what we, did, what we do overall. No, um, no. We want to know specifically. I don't want to know what your general purpose in life is. I don't need you to come here to tell me that you hate fraud. Hate when that happens, don't you? But you're supposed to find it out before it happens. In enforcement, obviously, we can't, and I understand that concern. In enforcement, we bring 
Last year, we brought 670 some odd cases. In the past two years, we brought 70 cases involving Ponzi schemes. In those 70 cases, all close L- to listen, half. Of listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have medals and, and, and ribbons and, no, and, and stuff like that, and congratulations on all the good stuff that you've done. I don't want to belittle any of that. But this is huge. How do you miss that? And, and, and we know that there are mini Madoffs out there. They're starting to surface. You, you missed all of those, too. We're bringing but this one, this one you were pointed at. And, and, and Mr. Marco Polo says he's going to give you another one tomorrow. He's not even giving it to you. He's giving it out to someone else because nobody has confidence in you guys anymore. Maybe, maybe the general counsel, Mr. Vollmer, uh, I believe you were the one who thought that your people didn't have to testify here today. I, I don't know how, where you got that, but some of us think otherwise. Maybe, maybe you could tell us. How, how did they miss all this? We're as committed as each of you. That's to, not the question. We we'll give you credit for being committed. Perhaps you could let me answer. Perhaps you can try to answer. And what, we, what we're asking No, is, no, we're asking. You have to tell us things. You're, you're forgetting what, the, what this procedure is. You're not coming here to let, ask. We're asking you. How did you screw General's up? General's process work. It's a process Congress set up to identify the facts that we all need to make these judgments. Let's let the system work that Congress created. There will be some recommendations. There will be time for this committee to look at the facts and to think of the recommendations themselves. Tell that and to people who've the lost their whole lives that they have time. In this people don't have now, time. We need you to tell us something instead of lecturing us, Mr. Vollmer. Law enforcement proce- proceedings going on. There are personal rights at stake. There are the in- there's the integrity of the investigation. We wouldn't be in this protect. mess if you f- people did and your that's job. That's why we've asked the committee. No, we're asking you. We are asking you to allow them to proceed. Could you cite whatever authority you're, you're citing and have cited? I, I'd be delighted. I'd be happy to do that. I'd be happy to talk. Because you have a right your, not to answer our questions under the Constitution's Fifth Amendment procedure. I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I'm a, I'm a citizen, to talk though. To your I'm a frustrated I'd citizen. Happy to give the, the references to you or to your lawyer. I'm listening. Give us the references. Uh, there's. Um, a very important uh, opinion from uh, Attorney General Robert Jackson in 1941, where he explained the need to discharge the constitutional and statutory obligations of the executive branch in connection with law enforcement and civil litigation. Are you citing executive branch immunity, Mr. Vollmer? In response to requests for information from the Congress. Are you citing executive branch immunity, Mr. Vollmer? There's, there are various protections. Are you citing executive branch privilege, Mr. Vollmer? Uh, I would like to let you allow me to answer your question. Well, that's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question, sir. Either you are no. or you are not. No, it is not. There are a variety of reasons and privileges and protections. They, one of them is executive branch protections. There's a deliberative process protection. They stem from the same desires that you have, and we're asking that you allow those processes to work. We are out of patience, and the question, obviously, is a yes or no question. Either you're citing executive privilege, immunity, or you're not doing that. I've just explained there are You know, if you're citing your Fifth Amendment privilege, you don't make a speech. And that's one of them, was the... Executive you are, uh, Was that a yes? You're citing executive privilege in immunity? in part, it is, yes. I'm sorry? I said, yes, it is in part. Has, have you 